is emerging tonight in the lawsuit over the city's investigation after the murder of exotic dancer Tamara Green. An affidavit filed on behalf of ex-mayor Kwame Kilpatrick claims his missing office computer was handed down to his successor, Ken Cockrell Jr., after Kilpatrick resigned in September of 2008. The Detroit News reports that contradicts the city attorney who claims the computer was thrown out and replaced. Green family attorney Norman Yatuma insists other evidence is also missing from the police files. We have not one but two employees of the city of Detroit. Again, not my employees, their employees who say there was a police report filed by Tamara Green. It's gone. The Green family claims the city and Kilpatrick obstructed Green's murder investigation in 2003 because of her ties to a rumored party at the Manoogian Mansion. Newly unsealed testimony suggests that party was not just rumor, but in fact reality. Exotic dancer Tamika Ruffin claims she was paid $1,000 to dance at that same party. That adds the testimony of Wilson Kay, an ex-con who says he was hired as a security guard for the bash. Both claim to have seen Kilpatrick's wife Carlita assault Tamara Green. Months later, of course, Green was gunned down in a drive-by shooting that police attributed to a drug war. Keep in mind the credibility of both witnesses has been called into question. An evidentiary hearing now set for next week will determine if the case moves forward. A hearing in Port Huron tonight.